Hello everyone and welcome to our YouTube channel, ASUS TV Accessories. Today we present to you a video concerning two ROG products. We start with the controller from ASUS, the Raikiri Pro, which works with lots of connection systems. We are going to connect it to the ROG Ally console, this magnificent little transportable gaming PC in traditional console format. I will show you how it works and the connection system that you can use on the ROG Ally. Let's go for the video. Quick presentation of the ROG Raikiri Pro Game Controller. I will explain how to use it and connect it. We open the packaging, always a simple and effective packaging from ASUS. Here, we have the ROG Raikiri Pro Game Controller. Below, you have the warranty booklet, as well as a USB-C and Type-A cable, classic USB in Type-C for the controller. The most important thing in the box is the game controller. I will quickly explain the characteristics of this controller. Above all, the most interesting is to use it and see how we can connect it. It is a controller which is able to have 48 hours of autonomy provided that it does not have the vibrator activated as well as the light systems. Everything that is color system and your screen. You have the possibility of plugging in your headset here. Like all the latest game controllers and other consoles currently on the market, you have three possibilities for connection on this type of controller. The wire connection with your USB cable, the 2.4 GHz RF connection. You have the dongle, which allows you to connect it to your PC if you are not using Bluetooth on your PC, and you have the Bluetooth connection integrated into the controller. What interests us most is the Bluetooth connection, which is the least obvious, although it is relatively easy to connect it. The presentation of the ROG Raikiri Pro is finished. Now I will explain how to use the menu here how to turn it on and off. It only weighs 330G with the cable. To start it, you hold down. That's not necessarily all intuitive immediately. I keep the central button pressed. I do the same operation to turn it off. I will explain it to you again during the video. It takes a little time to turn off. You really have to keep pressing it. We are going to pair it with the ROG Ally. I'm going to show you what it can do when connecting and being able to play with it. It's relatively easy here. You keep pressing. You turn on your Raikiri Pro. Once you are on your profile here, you have two buttons, you have a right button and a left button. This one allows you to select, this one allows you to go back. To go to the Raikiri Pro menu, I keep pressing the right button at the top. Sorry, I backtracked. I can with the right button, navigate the menu if I want to select System. When you receive your controller, you will certainly be in 2.4 GHz connection, which is the RF. This controller has three connection possibilities. The wired connection, the 2.4 GHz connection, and the Bluetooth connection. There, we connect to our ROG Alley via Bluetooth. I select System to enter the system. I keep pressing the right button here. I connect it to a PC. Same, I keep it pressed to enter the PC menu. See, if I press the right button I scroll, I choose the Bluetooth which is already selected. 
I repeat the manipulation while keeping the button pressed. To go back, I press the left button again. Once I have activated Bluetooth on the controller, I go to the ROG Alley. In the Bluetooth devices, I add a Bluetooth device, I make a search, I connect, it detected the controller, I press OK. I have here the ROG Ally, which is detected on the dashboard of Bluetooth devices. I minimize, I open Armory Crate. There where there is the game's library, there I was in energy saving mode on the connection. To avoid consuming too much battery, I switch to performance mode and turbo mode. We can start, we put the GTA game on. We can play on the ROG Ally or other PC, which are equipped with Bluetooth for wireless, or you can connect it wired. It has joysticks, which are particularly flexible. I find that it responds really well. In terms of the triggers, you have the possibility of shortening here the stroke of the triggers. The ROG controller is vibrating. Great sensation. I have the impression of being in front of a traditional console with the Xbox controller. In terms of handling, the Raikiri Pro works even better on a car game. There is nothing better than controllers. After FPS, it's true that a keyboard mouse is nice. But for those who are used to playing Fortnite, the controller will also work very well. The autonomy is approximately 48 hours when you turn off the lighting and the vibration system. We are in a somewhat dark place. The controller becomes one with the console. It's crazy how fluid it is. We must not forget that these are games that were designed to run on large towers. Today, they run on small PCs like this one. That's wonderful. Let's try this game which is a little more colorful. There we are directly on the ROG Ally with the controller. You can also connect your ROG Ally to your TV, play with your console and your Raikiri Pro on your TV. It becomes much more complicated to hold your ROG Ally in your hand while being connected to the TV. It will be much easier to play on your TV. Most people now have a large TV with a controller. That's it for the little demo. That's it, it's not really the kind of game I play. I have a little more difficulty handling a game of this style. Graphically and in terms of colors, it looks very good. It was mainly to show you how to navigate in the Raikiri Pro menu, which is not necessarily simple when you unpack your controller from its box. It is always useful to have an explanatory video to show you how it works. In case your connection does not work immediately with Bluetooth, go to the ASUS support site. Go to the download center. You type Raikiri. The Raikiri Pro appears. You have the drivers and tools. The controller is recent. It is not compatible on old operating systems. It is only compatible on Windows 10 and Windows 11. We are on Windows 11. Here, you have utilities. If you have uninstalled Armory Crate, which is the interface where we see the video games, I tried to change the colors. This may be a Bluetooth driver problem, or you may have the firmware version. The software integrated into the controller. There is an update. I do not have it done. The controller is brand new. I'm going to do it. Try to see if that hasn't fixed it. In any case, if you can't connect via Bluetooth, 
If the controller is not detected, download the corresponding software. I downloaded it, I open it, I do it right away. You follow with me, I search for my installer. When you have something like this, go to more information to find Run Anyway. There, it connects to my controller. It searches if it is up to date or not. At the back, you have macro triggers. You can configure them. You also have two small buttons, which allow you to reduce the travel. For shooting games, it can be more interesting to have them very short. There I have a large stroke at the level of the trigger. When I reduce, I have a very small stroke. Here I have the maximum stroke, and here I have a very small stroke. It's not much, but it can be useful on games like Counter-Strike or Fortnite. People who do not need to have amplitude on the rear triggers, reduce your amplitude. That's it for the explanations of the ROG Raikiri Pro. I hope that this was useful for handling and connecting with your ROG Ally on the ROG Ally as long as a device is in Bluetooth. It will be the same operation regardless of the computer. Thank you for following this video. I hope this was helpful. Please like and subscribe. If you have any questions, I'll be happy to answer them. See you soon for new videos.